This week on the Husky Update. As this year's flood of freshmen packed the Boston campus and Resmill faces extensive delays, Northeastern finalizes its controversial merger with Mills College in Oakland, California. All this and more on this week's episode of the Husky Update. Your campus, your news, all the time. From the Showman Studio, here is the Husky Update. Hello and welcome to our first Husky Update of the school year. My name is Renee Nearing, reporting from Shillman Studio. Here's this week's news. The Boston campus is open and in full swing with over 11,000 students moving into residential buildings during the first week of September. While the university has yet to release official enrollment numbers, there were a record number of applicants for the current first year class. With thousands of students on campus, some have noticed a large strain on on-campus facilities and resources. This past week, wait times for residential mail services, more commonly known as ResMail, were up to two hours in both the Columbus and Spear Place locations. In-line students could be heard expressing their frustrations with the situation. NUTV News' Michaela Vierde captured the footage of the Columbus mail room on Wednesday after waiting in line for over 90 minutes herself. ResMail commented on these delays, saying in an email to students on Wednesday that they are due to beginning of semester package volumes. On Thursday, ResMill announced that they would begin an operating an additional pickup location out of Smith Hall. This new location will mirror the operational hours of Spear and Columbus and will remain active for a few weeks. ResMill is also piloting locker pickups in which students are able to retrieve their items from various locations around campus by scanning a QR code. The locker system is designed to provide more flexibility to students in when and where they can access their mail. Now we take it to Griffin LaRanger with Rapid Fire. Thanks, Renee. My name is Griffin Larranger, and this is Rapid Fire. In local news, September 14th was Boston's preliminary nonpartisan mayoral election. This election determined which two candidates would proceed to the general election on November 2nd to serve as Boston's mayor. The top two candidates were Michelle Wu and Anissa Wasabi George, eliminating acting mayor Kim Janey and close third place candidate Andrea Campbell. In national news this past Tuesday, residents of California cast their ballots in the state's first gubernatorial recall election since 2003. With 64% of the vote, Governor Newsom will remain in office for the remainder of his term. In international news, August 31st saw the end of the U.S. government's 20-year involvement in Afghanistan as the last military plane departed the country with the last of the U.S. service members. The Biden administration has come under scrutiny as the Taliban quickly established themselves as the new leader of the country in the resulting power vacuum, overthrowing the previous government. This news means that while the physical involvement in Afghanistan has come to an end, the time spent there and the country's affairs will no doubt continue to cast a long shadow over U.S. politics. In other international news, Nicki Minaj made headlines this week when she claimed that her Trinidadian cousin's friend's testicles are now swollen after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Her claim has been highly refuted by many in the medical field, with officials from the Trinidadian health minister to the White House press secretary making a statement Despite the fact that Nikki's cousin friend's testicular troubles are most likely not a result of receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, Minaj's stance is that when it comes to vaccines, she has to do her own research, giving no indication with what that research is and ignoring the actual research done. That's all for Rapid Fire. Back to you, Renee. Thanks, Griffin. On September 14th, Northeastern announced that they reached a deal, definitive agreement to merge with Mills College, which is a liberal arts college in Oakland, California, which accepts women and gender non-binary students. Talks about the merger were originally announced on June 17th. Under Northeastern, Mills will change to accept students of all gender identities. All staff, students, and faculty at Mills will be considered members of Northeastern. In a News at Northeastern article, the university claimed that Mills College students and faculty were optimistic that the merger with Northeastern will allow Mills' focus on women's leadership and racial and gender equality to continue. But prior to the merger, the Alumni Association of Mills College went to court with Mills about an ex parte application filled by an alumni member of the board wanting to slow the deal down. Berkeley was also looking to purchase a school, but the deal fell through due to timeliness, according to the Board of Trustees member, Dr. Marilyn Schuster. Faculty of Mills College have also expressed frustration about the financial mismanagement of the school leading up to the deal, as well as concern about an increase in workload due to the large number of Northeastern students. That's the news. The rest is up to you. 
Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the Husky update. My name is Renee Nearing. Thank you for watching.